first comment coming to the stage. Uh, she came all the way from Orlando. Uh, first time on this stage. She's she's a very funny lady. Put your hands together for uh, shit. I fucking I almost had it. I'm sorry. <laughs> Kate Alcast, everybody. Kate Alcast, let her hit. You don't have to make your feelings funny, bro. Um, how's everyone doing tonight? <laughs> light woos. I, why is light wooing like the appropriate response to anything? Like no one's, that's the only time anyone ever says that. What does my fucking index card say? I graduated from college recently. <laughs> Thank you. That's really just a fancy way of saying I'm unemployed and have really no skills for a job. <laughs> so I did get a callback from Ruby Tuesday. I called a callback. I try to, you know, make things fancier than they are. But when I called them back, it was like, let's schedule an interview. And I was like, okay, it's like, you're a loss, you're hiring me. But uh, they acted as if like I had never called them like I was trying to swindle them into a shitty hosting job. I felt like I was back in high school, like talking to like one of my ex-boyfriends, like, I don't know what you want. What do you want from me? You're suffocating me. And I was like, I mean, you called me like 50 times and I'm just <laughs> returning the call, sir. I don't know what you fucking want. Uh, needless to say, I won't be working there. Um, <laughs> I don't even know. Like I was like, I called them. They were like, we didn't call you. Like, yes, you fucking did. I'm not calling Ruby Tuesday for fucking fun. Like. I don't know what you want from me. Like, just let me see, you know, working class people to eat shitty food that's been frozen. Um, anyway, I didn't get the job because I said so. Uh, what else? I can't say, I can't read and read my own handwriting. Uh, I am single, clearly. Thank you. Oh, you guys only clap if you mean it. No one clapped. <laughs> I think it's because I look like a European boy from the back and like the whole man bun thing is really fucking my game up because look at this. <laughs> People see me on the street and they're like, that man, and then I turn around and they're like, that man. <laughs> That's a tits joke, guys. So I don't have titties, it's fine, I don't know. Um, anyways, dating is hard, anyone dating? No, everyone's either single or in a happy relationship, no one's really happy, shut the fuck up. Um, I have been dating this guy though, I mean, knock on wood, I wanted to stay I, I really enjoy it, I wanted to get serious. Uh, his name is Jimmy Johns. Um, oh my God, you guys, it's everything I've ever wanted in a relationship. He always answers my calls. And then when he gives me what I want, he leaves. Which frees me up to masturbate and watch the Unbreakable Kimmy Schmidt nude. So, it's a win-win for everyone. Um, other than that, I would say uh, Jimmy Johns is really the only Gentile I'm into. Otherwise, my type is brooding Jew. Are there any Jewish men in the house tonight? Any Jews? Yes. Where? Women. Oh, well, I, I don't want to fuck you, sorry. Maybe if I turn you around, I don't care. I'll see. It's 2015, strap on. Someone has a strap on in their drawer, right? No? Me neither. Uh, yeah, so brooding Jew, I mean, I don't know. It's a fucking turn on. It's a horrible type to have, you know? It's like Seinfeld with low self esteem. Show me a dreidel, a yarmulke, and a Zoloft prescription. And I'm fucking in. That is a fucking turn on for me. Um, yeah, I really only exclusively date Jews, but uh, I will say one Jew I'm not a particular fan of is uh, Anne Frank. I found her diary to be a bit boring. I mean, let's be honest, Anne. Was you getting your period every month that big of a surprise? She's yawning as I'm speaking. That really hurts. <laughs> you just sort of crushed a 21-year-old girl's spirit, hopes and dreams, ma'am. You did something today. <laughs> Wasn't good, but you did something. And doing things is infinitely harder than not doing things. I think we can all agree on that. Anyway, um, what was she like, fucking Peter in the common room? And then she was like, oh, I hope I'm not pregnant. Like, what was your dad watching? Were you very quiet during it? That's kinky. I enjoy sex that's only conducted in whispers. It's very gentle. It's the kind of lover I am. I mean, honestly, I was rooting for the Nazis. Hi, guys, how's it going? I'm just talking about Nazis on stage. Are, are any of you Jewish? You're wearing a fedora, so it's kind of like a yarmulke. I don't know what he's doing jazz hands and not even looking at me. All right. Spirit fingers. Do 
I look like someone who knows what fucking spirit fingers are. I look like a gay mechanic right now. <laughs> the fucking spirit hands me is some bullshit. Anyway, I was rooting for the Nazis uh, for, you know, Anne Frank's diary, because that plot needed some conflict. <laughs> needed a B story. Uh, speaking of plan B, I fucked my ex last night. <laughs> Not even worth it. It's a fucking waste of birth control. Like, I really don't feel like I'm getting my money's worth. I was really pissed. I mean, the only reason I was fucking him is because I called my fuck buddy and I texted him. I was like, hey, let me... I said something really sweet, like, let me take advantage of your body. And um, he was like, well, I was a little rough on myself last night, Kate. I was like, I don't know what the fuck that means. He's like, yeah, I masturbated too hard and my dick is sore, so I can't fuck you. I was like, what kind of idiot masturbates so vigorously that they give themselves a rug burn on their dick? Are they just like, fuck, I have an Indian burn on my penis. Like he's in fucking high school or something, or middle school, I don't know. The inappropriate touching never really stops, does it? I think the Duggars are kind of a pretty good example of that. <laughs> There's just different names for it, you know. What else? What else should I talk about? Hmm. hmm, hmm, hmm. Anyways, he's a douche. Um, my ex. He calls me bro a lot, and I know he doesn't know. I'll be. I'll be done. He. Um. I know he doesn't know my name still, even though we dated for two years. But he calls me dude. And I'm just like, can you not call me bro while you're inside of me? <laughs> like. You just made two heterosexual people having sex the gayest thing ever. And I just don't get it. And uh, last night, though, he had me touch his flaccid dick and was like, did this turn you on, Kate? Did this turn you on, bro? Bro? I was like, you slipped up. You do know my name. Fuck you. <laughs> he still loves me. Um, and so I was, like, touching his flaccid penis, so I punched him in the face and was like, does this turn you on? And it did. I lost. I fucking lost. All right, that's my time, guys. Thank you so much. Kate Alcas, everybody. Let her hear it. Kate Alcas! Funny shit.